Hi, this is Tag again and today I want to talk a bit about this here GTX 260. This is, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, um, GTX 260s you can get. This is a Pellet uh, GTX 260 Sonic. Now, the great thing about these cards is that they guarantee you that you get a 55 nanometer core, so the updated version. And they also guarantee you that you get the 216 shader uh, GTX 260. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I also think that these only come in the latest stepping, so B3 cores. Uh, and there's also, of course, um, a game board version of them, because they're basically the same company. I think they call it a golden sample or, or something like that. I'm not sure about that one. Anyways, I got this card and then tried to SLI it with this piece of crap here. This is a reference 55 nanometer that unfortunately has memory that cold bugs uh, on dice. So I, I initially wanted to make a video where I showed the volt mods for both of them, but I think it were better off by just using the gain mod card, I guess, or pellet in this case. Uh, anyways. This is again pretty easy stuff. We have our V core mod. Now, the back of this card is going to look pretty wild, I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, that's just usual feedback mod. And let's flip it over, let's zoom out before. There is the back. Now, this card I already prepped for running cold, as you can see. We have six capacitors between the GPU, that's uh, I think six times. Uh, 820 microfarad, 2.5 volt, and there is some here on the memory. Again, also memory volt mod. I'm going to show that one in detail afterwards as well, of course. Bit of a, a soldering mistake here, as you can see. <laughs> uh, just regular old feedback mod. Up here is a variable resistor, and I also added a bunch of caps on. Uh, GPU voltage, so that's input filtering here, that's uh, 270 microfarad 16 volts and a bunch of mixed uh, 2.5 volt 820 microfarads here. My preferred style of monitoring stuff if I don't use the voltmeters uh, themselves. And also, uh, focus, there we have some little MLCCs. I added to the memory. Now this card did about I think 980. Uh, what is the double of that? 1960 megahertz on dice. However, I think I was held back by uh, voltage because I only ran like 1.28 volts on the load. So this card is definitely a good one, and. That's why I want to show you the volt mode for them, because I, I think your best bet at getting a card that is going to perform well uh, in the GTX 216 rankings is to get one of these pellet cards. They are not super rare and they are, again, guaranteed 55 nanometer and seem to have a pretty decent PCB as well. The memory is also decent on this card, I think it did like uh, 1270 or something. Uh, Samsung memory, which is kind of strange anyways, because this one is also Samsung memory and that one cold bugs and this one doesn't. Like, if I put this, these two cards in SLI, uh, it's going to start artifacting as soon as I cool this down. Now, I, I, I retried this I think three times or so, because I always thought I had condensation somewhere, because I don't really dip the card completely. But every time it started on l 2 and it ran fine on ambient, however it kind of sucks on ambient. I think this GPU barely does 700 on ambient. So, yeah, maybe don't get reference cards, I don't know. I, I think there is some, some decent scores actually on HW bot though with reference cards, but they might all be uh, e-powered ones. And maybe someone knows something I don't about getting rid of the code back on the memory. Now, before anything calls me out on this, the temperature sensor on these is both removed, so that's not my cold bug issue. It's, it's literally going to start artifacting like you had a bad memory chip 
once you cool it down and I don't have a slightest clue why. Anyways, let's switch over to the PC and show you the volt mods for this here pallet card in detail. Okay, here we are. Let's start off with Vcore. Again, this is a simple feedback mod and I'm actually going to do something I usually don't do. I'm going to write out the voltage controller model. If I can find green. This is an RT. Now both of the voltage controllers on here are rich tech parts. So this is an RT8841. It does have VID pins, so you could in theory VID mod it. This, those are your VID resistors up here. So, But I didn't bother because I so far didn't run into any over voltage protection with this card, with the regular uh, feedback mod. Anyways, feedback pin is this one here. That's your feedback pin. And this is also feedback. Uh, there's a bunch of other spots here. Let me check them. This one is feedback and this one is feedback. And also this one is feedback. Uh, however, the easiest spot for you to solder on is this unpopulated pad here. This is feedback. So that's what I would recommend using. Now, from your feedback, usual stuff. This one is not very nice. Barrel resistor to ground. Again, going to use my blue grounds. Uh, now, grounds in this area are, well, obviously screw hole ground. This whole plane up here is ground basically. So you could scratch a part there. However, this is also ground, this unpopulated pad here. And also the left pads of these two capacitors. And I think one of those should be good enough. Uh, I, I think on my personal volt mod, I used some other capacitor pad that's over here in the, like off screen here. Uh, anyways, you can use any of those. It should be fine. Now, again, that's about it. There is VIT pins on this thing, but I wouldn't touch them unless you run into overvolt protection because it's just basically too much work for, for no gain if the, the analog feedback mod works just as good. Oh, also, I just noticed that the memory chips here are a different model from Samsung than my reference card. So that might explain why the reference card clocks like shit and this one doesn't. Or cold bugs at least. Uh, anyways, let's move on to our VMAM mod. Now, I'm not sure how necessary VMAM in general is on these cards, but I, I like to include as much information uh, as possible in this video, so I'm just going to show it. Uh, personally, I ran no VMAM mod for the 1270 memory it did. Uh, 1270, that this was in Vantage, by the way, if, if anyone is interested, anyways. Uh, feedback pin this one here the green one and there's also a bunch of other feedback pin options on here again and another unpopulated pad with it which is awesome this one is feedback this unpopulated one is feedback which i would suggest using or directly on the pin that's the easiest to solder this is feedback and this is feedback uh, i think it goes up here as well yes it does here this is also feedback so from here Usual stuff, bare resistor to ground. Uh, I, I think I should go back to the other one after that. Uh, I forgot to tell you the values I would suggest here. Now this would be uh, about 10 to 20 kilo ohms would be ideal here. Uh, grounds, let me show you. Now. Easily accessible, this upper capacitor pad here. Then you also have ground up here. Now there's usually only one capacitor on here, the second one I, I put on here. And here, and on the right of these. So that should be enough accessible grounds in the area. 
Personally, I used a ground from one of the DVI ports because my variable resistor is again up here somewhere and that was the closest one I, I could actually solder on there without using any wires. Uh, anyways, let's go back to our V-Core because I forgot to tell you the resistance values. Now again, this is one of those very common cases where 20 kilo ohms is good for everything. So I would suggest 20 to 50 on the high end on this one. Now again, 20 would be more uh, like fine tunable and, and 50, 50 also works, but just not as fine, I guess. Uh, bigger is always possible with these like basic feedback mods because your only thing you're losing is is uh, sensitivity basically. Uh, there is no risk of of over uh, volting or killing any hardware because you have too much resistance in these cases. Uh, only too little would would hurt. So because it's basically the inverse of the resistance is is your V core. Uh, anyways. I think that's about it on this card and I hope this was a sort of combination video of, of a volt mod and uh, I don't know, buying advice I guess for GTX 260s. Bye!